present for our walk in this world. They resound with... In the 1980s, the group Stick sang, Too much time on my hands. What am I going to do with all this time? My wife and I, Amy and I, went walking yesterday through our neighborhood yesterday evening. And there was a family that, well, the garage was open, and there was almost nothing in the garage. But out on the road, there were empty boxes, broken down boxes, a few broken toys. And then a little bit farther in the yard, there was what looked like the remains of about three trees or three large bushes. And I thought, you know, they need to slow down. Uh, there's plenty of time to do all the things that need to be done, but maybe these are projects that they had put off, and now they have all this time. They're sheltering at home. They want to do something, and they're taking care of all these projects that they have backed up. And we have a lot of time on our hands right now with our social isolation, with our social distancing. And so because we're doing that, we're, we're finding time to do the projects and to focus on the things that, well, maybe we should have been all along. That's why I'm doing these videos each morning is to help us take time to focus on God, who we need to be focusing on, well, all along. We need to be focusing on all the time. So let's open this morning the book of Psalms. As we look at our weekday psalm, let's look at Psalm 5, the fifth psalm. Here are the words of the psalmist, Psalm 5, English Standard Version. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my groaning. Give attention to the sound of my cry, my King and my God, for to you do I pray. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you with watch. For you are not a God who delights in wickedness. Evil may not dwell with you. The boastful shall not stand before your eyes. You hate all evildoers. You destroy those who speak lies. The Lord ab abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful man. But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in the fear of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouth. Their innermost self is destruction. Their throat is an open grave. They flatter with their tongue. Make them bear their guilt, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels because of the abundance of their transgressions. Cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. Let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy and spread your protection over them that those who love your name may exult in you for you bless the righteous, O Lord, and cover him with favor as with a shield. When I read that psalm, one of the first things I thought of was how relevant the word of God is. The psalmist starts out, focuses there, the, the first few verses, in the morning I'm lifting up my voice, in the morning I'm crying to you, in the morning I'm praying to you, and praying to you, and if you're like me, during this time where the world seems out of balance, off kelter, good southern word, cattywampus. As, as we look at the world right now, maybe you spend a lot of time talking to God about the things you're seeing. Maybe you're spending a lot of time talking about this, this virus specifically and your health specifically or, or the health of those that you love and those that you care about. So you cry out like the psalmist, give ear to my words, O Lord. Give attention to the sound of my cry. Oh, in the morning, Lord, hear my voice. Maybe those have been your prayers. But the positive thing in this verse, in this psalm, I see in verse 8, Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness. Make way, make your way straight before me. Lead me in what is right. Help me to know how to live for you. Help me to know the right way to go, the right thing to do. Help me navigate through all of these things that are going on in our world today. Then verse 11. Verse 11 reminds me and reminds you 
that through all of this, the one thing that we can do, the one thing that we know, the one thing that is for certain is that we can take refuge in God. That we can seek shelter in God. Because he is there. He is the constant one and the ever-changing one. And an ever-scary world. Will you go to God with me in prayer? Dear God, thank you again for this day. Father, thank you for the night's rest that we've had. Thank you for helping us keep our focus on you. Help us to spend time taking care of the things that are important. Help us to use this time to refocus our lives so that we can think on the things that are true and just and lovely and of good report. Father, help us to spend time with our family. Help us to make the phone calls to our loved ones that we cannot see personally. Help us to be that light in our community. Help us to be an encouragement and example. Help us to be that place of calm in the midst of chaos. Help us know that you are that ultimate calm, that you are that rock of refuge, that you are that, that place of shelter. Or that help us to take refuge in you. Help us to seek shelter in you. Help us to turn other people toward you. Help us to focus on Christ. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. I look forward to our time together each and every day. And I pray that God continues to bless you.